Okay, as far as the build goes for the uh, indoor seedling um, growing system, I almost uh, turned that into a full indoor greenhouse. <laughs> Anyways, it's pretty well complete. Everything's done. I'm just waiting for my timers and all that to come in tomorrow morning. And then I'll be potting some uh, seeds. But anyways, the material I used right here is reflective. It's a little over a quarter inch thick. And I have a three side wrap around the back and both sides. Complete from top right to the floor. And for the front, I have this is uh, what you consider six mils greenhouse plastic and that's what I have for the front door and all you got to do is uh, grab it from the bottom and flip it up no big deal but yeah so anyways that's my uh, new idea uh, the table was just just an accident waiting to to happen you know come in with your jackets or whatever bump the table plants all over the place type idea so I figured this was a better idea I just didn't really like the table look so that's why I designed this so anyways yeah it's gonna it's gonna come in pretty good especially especially now that it's fully insulated like you can see all three sides that's that's gonna really really uh, you know reflect all the light and the heat it'll be easy to control uh, humidity condensation and that plastics nice and heavy and you know what later on in the year I can even throw that on the deck if I wanted to So anyways, that's the uh, complete look and tomorrow I'll uh, throw on all the lights and see what it looks like uh, totally complete. See you then. Alright, so I started getting my uh, system ready with my earth and my seedlings and then uh, my timers came in. but. I just want to talk to you a little bit about the timers. Uh, this one here that's in plastic, I've had, oh jeepers, I, I, I don't know how many years I've had this one. It's brand new. It's a Nomad. Okay, now there it is there. It's on, where it'll just stay on all the time, or dusk and dawn. It's not, it's not a good one because it's got all the sensors. So if I put this to dusk and dawn, that's when the light's going to activate. If I have it on on, I only have a choice between two, four, six, eight hours. That's not what I was looking for. Uh, in my garage, everything's under motion sensor. And also, I can program it. Uh, it doesn't have the dusk and dawn. I, I can choose when the lights and all that go on or off. So, if, uh, if you're going to try doing the setup like I have, and you want to put everything on a timer, make sure you don't get uh, one of these, because you'll be disappointed. I bought this for outside, so that's okay. Now, the one you need... Or indoors when you're starting your seedlings or whatnot is a programmable one like I just received all right so this one here is an indoor outdoor and it's got a nice screen display here where you can put the clock on and then you program your own uh, time and you got up to a seven day cycle so for now I'm gonna hook all this up set up all my times and I'm gonna have this run for uh, 16 hours a day and then 
when the plants are maturing quite well, I might cut that down to about 12 hours. So this is the one I'll be using uh, with my setup. All right. So make sure that if you're going to do something like what I'm doing, get one that you can program. And be careful. You don't want that dusk and dawn one. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is take this out of the package. And I'm going to set up all my lights. And I'll show you what it's, uh, what it's like. Be right back. Okay, so that's uh, all my wiring uh, hooked up in the back. The timer's all set up. Everything's uh, working great. I also have my heat mat uh, on. It's set for 78 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's basically uh, to help your peppers and tomatoes germinate. All right, so now I'll show you what it looks like uh, inside. All right, so it's now complete. I took my shelving unit, which is 72 inches high, 48 inches across, 24 inches deep. All right, I use reflective insulation blanket that they use on uh, water heaters and stuff like that. Uh, people that are doing a lot of uh, trekking on trails will take uh, cook pots and make cozies out of that. Okay, so that's on there. That's going to make a big difference in my seed station. All right, so it's five shelves. I'm utilizing four and on all of them. I have my LED racks. That's going to be adjustable. All right, in the front. I have my six mil greenhouse plastic. It's just hanging there just to seal it off. It's uh, it's going to be a nice, nice system because all you're going to do put it up out of the way work on your shelves, water your plants, do whatever it takes. This here is going to be my new setup for 2023. I think it's going to kick ass. All right. So I, uh, I did not come up with the uh, light rack myself. It was another YouTuber that came up with that. I like the idea. So I went with it. As far as putting the reflective all the way around, I've never seen anyone else do that. I think it's going to uh, hold the heat. It's going to uh, reflect the light. And I think it's going to be a great bang for your, uh, your seeds, that's for sure. But anyways, this is what I came up with. So, pull it down. Just let it hang. And there you go. Door is closed. That too will keep all the heat in. And the, uh, the humidity can escape, no problem. And uh, I think it's going to work great. So again, all I got to do now is complete my seeds. And what I got on the floor is I got uh, all my cells filled with soil. So I got 420 cells already packed with my um, potting mix. All right, so I'll show you that. There it is there, and it's all ready. So all I got left to do now is uh, get my list that I made for my garden on what's going to be planted, and then take out my seeds and take it from there. So that's my next task. All right, so filling these up, self-explanatory. What I'm using right now is uh, potting soil, okay, miracle Grow. it's great stuff. Now, it's very dry when you get it, so that's why I put it in a bucket. And I put in, I would say, 16 
18 cups of water in here just so that I can get it like plumped like this but yet break apart it's damp okay it's very damp easy to work with easy to fill your uh, your cells with and then once you uh, got your cells filled and just give it a light pack then it's very easy to put your seed in and then once my seeds in I'm gonna put probably oh I don't know maybe an inch of water in here and this will have all the soil and the seeds in and when I put it on top what's gonna happen is the, the soil is going to uh, absorb through these holes and I'll let it sit there probably I don't know an hour or two hours once I got them all done and then after that I'll dump out the excess of water all right so right now what I'm going to do is start filling up my uh, my trays So I'm just getting the air out and I'll scoop them off okay now there you go that's all I do okay and it's just lightly packed just to get the air out and when I'm ready to sow the seeds depending on what type of seed I have is depending on the depth right the majority of my seeds are pretty small so I'm just going to put it underneath the surface when I get uh, my beans and stuff growing, well, then I'll put the beans down about a half an inch, you know, the thickness of the, uh, the seed itself, right? So for now, all I'm going to do is fill up all my trays like this, put them aside, and then once I got a good amount of, uh, of trays set up, then I'm going to start sowing my seed. So that's basically what you do here. Now, I know there's a lot of talk on the Internet and stuff like that when you visit gardening shows about what type of soil you should use, what type of uh, um, um, seed growing kits you should get, and you know stuff like this, right? But if you really listen to the <laughs> to the way they describe things, you know, this is a nice blend, Miracle Grow, okay, potting soil, very nice blend. It holds the moisture very well, and They'll talk about um, getting neutral soil to sow your seeds. And they'll say you've got to have neutral soil so that you don't burn your seeds. And you've got to have neutral soil so that your seedlings will, uh, will uh, grow better, better, better um, higher percentage, and blah, 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 right? Then before the videos ended, they turn around and say, well, let's go outside while I uh, plant some more seeds. I already planted all my tomato seeds. There they are. Put it aside. Now let's go outside to the garden. We're going to plant more tomato seeds. And what do they do? They go into a garden that's got a high uh, uh, concentration of uh, fertilizers. Uh, they fertilize the whole thing. Then they turn around and start making their rows and sprinkling the seeds in. Contradiction or what, right? You know what I mean? It just don't make sense. Just use whatever you have. Maintain it properly. Make sure it's nice and damp. And make sure it's not overly uh, saturated with, uh, with uh, unnatural fertilizers. You know what I mean? So that's, that's what I do, right? I use the miracle Grow. Works great. I've had no problems with it. And you know what? I'm not going to buy all that other high price stuff, you know, and all this, because they just go out in the garden anyways, you know what I mean? And so what's the big difference, right? So anyways, I'm going to start filling all, all my trays up and then I'll get back to you when it's time to plant some seeds. So anyways, thank you very much for uh, dropping by. I hope you like uh, what you see and you know what? It's it's your own projects and your own way you want to uh, 
start your seeds. Hey, this is just something I did. I think it's going to benefit me uh, a great deal. But you don't always, always have to get the best of the best. And I think it's going to uh, benefit. So thanks for dropping by. And uh, don't forget, when you start off your lights, go for about the 16 hour mark. Then once you get uh, three, four inch growth, you can cut it back to eight, eight or 12. So again, thanks for dropping in. And once the seedlings are starting to grow, I'll bring you back. Take care, guys. Bye now. I just want to show you the two thermometers to let you know that they're accurate together. So there it is. There. And there. Now I'll put uh, one inside the uh, indoor greenhouse and we'll take a look at the, uh, the temperature uh, differences. See you in a bit. So there it is now, 30 Celsius. Big, big difference.